I was good. This is a raw video. I have no problem with you just playing, letting this video play out in like a second tab or like a second monitor or something like that while you continue to do your chores or play a game. You, know, you just do something on the side. I have no problems with that. You can just do that if you want to. There's nothing going to be interesting in like my screen right now. It's just me walking and stuff. It isn't going to be anything serious. Basically, I made this video because I would just want to update you guys on where my headspace is at like at the moment. You know, these past few months have definitely been like really interesting on this channel and stuff. I'm a bit self-conscious right now because like right now I'm thinking people, the only people that are going to watch this are like people who have been long-term fans of this channel. You know, they've been watching this video. They've been, you know, they've been watching my stuff for like months, weeks, maybe. They are familiar with me, you know what I mean? So they understand what I'm doing through. They watch every video I make or something or close to that. Or someone who legit has no idea who I am. There's legit people in two camps right now. So I'm a bit self-conscious right now. <laughs> I'm not too sure how many people relate. Right, but right now, I feel like I've been seeing myself like a shift in how I make videos and stuff. And it's been definitely been really weird for me because right now I feel like I'm doing way more of like off the cuff commentary stuff. For a long time, especially with the videos that I made around like at the start of 2023, you know, when I fully transitioned to like not just focusing on like Roblox games specifically, but like just focusing on Roblox itself and like all the topics surrounding it. I just don't want to focus on games anymore. Of course, you know, when there's something interesting that pops up for me, like for example, Mimic or something like that, I'll of course make a video for it. But you know i want to actually like challenge myself and not try and pigeonhole myself into like a little box and saying oh i'm a evade youtuber i'm a mimic youtuber i don't i don't want that i just want to be like a general roblox youtuber that can cover anything that's roblox related i don't want to be too specific into something because in my opinion i'm a human being bro i got like 10 different interests i don't know how these other youtubers do it man like this is this is just me just being 100 percent authentic like i don't know how these other youtubers like stick to one game legit like if that was, i could i could never do that if that was me I'll, I'll get bored so easily maybe my attention span is like way slower than them or something like that because i legit can't i legit can't stick to one game or stick to like a like a set of topics and stuff like that so kudos to them man kudos to those youtubers bro i i just can't do that bro my brain won't allow it and definitely i'm switched for more like off the cuff um on serious stuff compared to what i usually used to do if i made this video like a year ago i would have typed up a script on it on word you know recorded it and stuff you know be a super serious you know think think about what i say but now i don't i got no filter bro i got no filter it's just me loading up obs clicking the record button boom and then i speak some words into my microphone i legit have no clue what i'm gonna say like five minutes later legit i have no idea and definitely i've been embracing this new style i actually like this new style a lot I'm, i've been loving it. but the like the problem is is sometimes i feel as if i'm not really too focused with what i'm saying like my videos have basically just turned into yap sessions <laughs> that's how that's basically how i'll call it i think some people in the comments have also called this out as well my videos turned into yap session where every minute you know i'm not necessarily saying you know i'm not necessarily 100 like focused on the topic like 99 of the time i'm not doing that anymore it's just you know sometimes i goof around with like the game footage you know i'm playing the game at the same time sometimes i'm focusing on the game and commenting on that instead of commenting on the topic 100 percent and the main reason why i started doing this in the first place is definitely 100 percent me typing up like 3,000, 5,000 words a day yo that's gonna be hard bro like bro i already did like my fair like bro i already do like my fair share of essays in college i don't want to write essays about roblox man and I think another thing that really contributed to this as well, I felt I was being way too serious in a lot of my videos. Like my videos are just talking about like some dumb stuff in Roblox. When you boil down to it, a lot of my videos are just like videos that I make about topics that aren't really so serious. So I feel like the, the way I was presenting a lot of my videos, it felt as if I was being too serious about the stuff that I was talking about. It was just, it's, bro, it's just Roblox, man. I would feel like, I feel like I should tone down the seriousness of my videos. And so basically that's why I feel like the commentary talking on the cuff style, I feel like that changed like the tone of my videos. I don't necessarily feel as if I'm too serious in my videos now compared to what it was like a few months ago. And I want to keep doing this style. But the problem is, is like, I actually kind of miss making some videos that were like a bit more serious in tone. You know, like stuff like why Roblox isn't fun anymore. I don't know how many of you guys watched that one. I made that like six months ago. I want to actually get back into tackling some more, I guess, deeper topics that I feel like wouldn't do justice if I just set like my piece out in like a 20 minute video. I feel like it actually benefits from a script and stuff like that. 
So I definitely want to do that. The last time I did that was for a Lethal Company. Uh, that video that I did on Lethal Company, you know, why, Le why Roblox is becoming more similar like Lethal Company, that video, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it. Really proud of that video. Actually, a lot of fun. A lot of fun and a lot of time actually went into that video. I think I it took like a day or two to write out the script, which was like around 10,000 words. And then of course, editing the video itself took another two days. So of course, I'm not like spending my whole day inside like my house cooped up trying to make these videos no it's probably like i guess overall maybe 10 hours of work like around there i definitely want to get back to making videos like that but the problem is is it's like will people be interested in that like seeing a mix between you know this commentary i guess not so serious goofy stuff like i know my videos normally are like in like the journal or the verdict series and then of course having another series you know where i'm actually a bit more serious i feel like doing something like that might be really cool though not gonna lie and also support of the vid for the videos has also been very insane. You know, we hit 20k very recently, which in my opinion is a W. Like that's crazy, getting 20k. And I feel like I want to utilize the second channel in some way. Because the second channel, like back then the purpose of the second channel was just to post highlights and clips of like friends and stuff. But the problem is like nowadays I don't really play as much roblox as i used to so there's no that's not no really like there's no highlights to be had about roblox content in the first place because i don't got any in my hard drive right now like i used to back then i don't know maybe maybe, maybe i got something here maybe I, this is like a really smart way to do youtube and i'm actually like overthinking about it i don't know but generally for as long as i can i just want to remain authentic about this channel one thing that i realize is like as youtubers they as they you know as they become bigger and bigger they kind of lose that sort of authenticity i go to like a lot of the pages of my favorite youtubers and stuff and then you know you can see them like slowly losing i guess that community feel like when you talk with your audience when they talk to like the people and stuff like that it generally feels as if they're kind of playing it up and i definitely know why because you know it becomes more about analytics it becomes more less about people and more focus on like numbers and getting the most revenue for your videos stuff like that you know and i don't want to lose that i literally don't want to lose that like the community feel that i feel like small channels like mine have and of course i will always say like everybody says i'm gonna be the deception to this i'm always gonna be real with my fan base i'm always gonna be authentic and stuff like that everybody thinks that the deception but in truth like none of us are if you're in a position of these big youtubers we would do the exact same thing as well like there will be a certain gap between you and your fan base that naturally happens with bigger channels i guess you start speaking your mind way less and that's something that I want to keep in this channel for as long as possible. I feel like I definitely have some controversial opinions, like, but there's some opinions that I just completely get shitted on. I, I made that video, Mimic video yesterday, and I feel like, I don't know, I haven't checked the statistics of that video yet, but I feel like that video is not gonna do very well in terms of the comments, bro. I'm actually like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually like a bit worried about checking the comments of that video, because I know there's gonna be massive hate for my opinion, so I'm gonna get it for that video. But it, it is an opinion after all, you know what I mean? it is what it is i feel like this channel i want this channel to be like a amalgamation of all of my interests inside of roblox in all the different sub genres in all like the different small little communities if you're around roblox for long enough and i have to say that i've been playing this game for a very long time now it's something that you just naturally get into you get into one community and then after you get to another in like two months three months you know sometimes you leave that community for a little bit you come back or whatever but that community always stays with you for like the years to come and that's basically how like this happened with me i think you know slowly i just got obsessed with this game i got obsessed with another game it got interacted with a lot of people from this community from that community naturally i just became I guess, I guess I can see like a lot of different points of views of like from different people and stuff like that. And I want this YouTube channel to reflect that legit. I feel, I feel like it's, it, I'm very miserable sticking to one content, one audience, one community at the same time. I think, and I think the way a lot of people are like me. I think a lot of people, especially if they've been playing Roblox for like as long as I have, like, I don't know, I've been playing since 2016, not religiously, but I guess, I don't know, like a couple hours every week or something like that now. I feel like everybody is like a different human with different interests on here. So I feel like some people can relate to me on this. But YouTube is so much about, oh, if I'm the Roblox, if I'm the Roblox guy, you gotta be the Roblox anime guy. You gotta be the Roblox tower defense guy. You gotta be the Roblox horror guy. And in my opinion, that just sucks the life out of me. 
even if I go into like something that I really enjoy, like for example, Roblox horror, I enjoy playing Roblox horror games and I enjoy playing horror games in general. And I love seeing how, like how the horror scene evolves over time. I'll make a whole separate video on that, like going deeper into it. I don't want to talk about that stuff like forever. You know what I'm saying? But that creates like a lot of fans from like different communities, you know, because I sometimes I like legit, I think I got like this DM the other day telling me from someone who actually is like a Royal High YouTuber, like a really big Royal High YouTuber. Like she DM DM'd me and like she said that, yo, my stuff is actually pretty nice. Literally, I have no clue because like I've never made a Royal High, I made a Royal High short of course, but I've never really made any videos that were like even remotely similar to Royal High. And I think if you're this deep into the video, I don't think you even play Royal High yourself. Or you do, I don't know, I don't know. This I feel like the like the Profit Zero Two fan base I don't know fan base seems pretentious but for Profit Zero Two I guess community I guess community is the right word I don't really, I don't think is there a right word for it without sounding pretentious I feel like fan base is like super duper pretentious I feel like the com okay I'm just gonna say community for now I feel like the community is such such an amalgamation of so many different people from like so many different communities. When I think about like the average viewer of my content, I think about yeah, they like Roblox, but that's about it. Literally, the only thing that's the only really thing that's similar between a lot of people inside of like my community, my fan base or whatever is they like Roblox, and that's about it. I've seen some people from the hood like my stuff. I've seen some people from you know Tower Defense like my stuff, and I think that's definitely because of my content is so spread out and it's so weird in a way. And I think that's just how it should be, like a human being with different interests making content about different interests. It's like as much as it, you know, you, being a YouTuber, being a YouTuber is like a reflection of me. A YouTube, you it's like I'm putting the you in YouTube basically. It's like a, I see this channel as like an extension of me, especially in like the Roblox part of me. And I don't want to lose that connection, bro. But I definitely know that like at some point I definitely will because I would like everybody thinks that the exception in every bad thing that happens, like losing connection to your community, stuff like that, it happens. Everybody thinks that the exception to that rule, but nobody really is. It's a rule in the first place because it happens so much. I think the biggest fear is if my content becomes too cookie cutter, you know, like for example, people just making the same videos over and over again. Everybody does that. Every big YouTuber does that at some point, you know, I, I'm gonna bring up an example. I don't know, Parlo, like all he just makes is like Roblox beef content and stuff like that. And you know, that's fun. You know, I can cons consume that stuff like once a month, but like sometimes I'm just like, bro, I do not care. So And so I miss maybe like almost all of his videos. Like, I'm not even subscribed to him anymore because I just feel like his content is just too repetitive. Same with, I guess, I guess Chiselet, Chase Rooney. I'm actually calling out way too many people right now. Like, like some of these YouTubers, some of these big YouTubers, I feel like the content has become way too cookie cutter because everybody just makes the same stuff. And I did, and they do that for a good reason. That's good for their algorithm. But I don't know, as a human being, personally, I can't, I, I can't do that. Personally, I can't do that. And so I hope you guys stay around for like the variety and stuff like that. In this whole YouTube thing, that's my biggest fear. Like I generally have fun with this stuff, but that's the biggest fear is me doing content about the same stuff over and over again, like so many other people are doing. And that's no diss towards them. I understand, get the bag, you know what I mean? But personally, it's not for me. That's the end of the yap session for today. You might have a yap session tomorrow. I don't know, like if I post a video tomorrow, that's another yap session that I'm doing. <laughs> All my videos are yap sessions anyway. So yeah, check out the second channel, by the way. I'm probably gonna make some more videos over there. I don't know about reviews and stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Here's a video that you can check out right here. I might be doing these like every couple of months or so, maybe like every three months. So I guess you can see a video that's like this somewhere around april i guess so i don't know mark in your calendar or something like that thank you guys so much for watching here's the video you can check out see you guys later peace anyway yeah, thank you for watching to the end by the way i really appreciate you